Hey friends, I'm going to show you one of our favorites, meatloaf, for Sunday dinner. And now a friend of mine showed me this recipe a few years ago. It's a little bit different than I used to make meatloaf, but it's our favorite way now. It starts off with one cup of Quaker oats, the quick cook style, and one to two cups of cheddar cheese that's shredded, depending on how much cheese you like. And then we're going to crack in two eggs. Now we made this recipe together with our friends for a men's homeless shelter. And we made these into mini meatloaves so each person could have one or two. It worked out great, everybody loved it, and it became one of our favorite recipes. We're gonna add in one tablespoon of minced onion. Of course you could use fresh onion, but I do like this these dried minced onions for this recipe. Then we're gonna add in about a half a teaspoon of salt and then just some pepper to taste. Now we're gonna add in one cup of milk. And this is a rather large recipe. I'm gonna add two pounds of ground beef. And then before I get my hands dirty, I'm gonna get that Pam out and spray my crock pot. And now I don't know about you guys, but I don't like touching raw meat. You could definitely use a spoon on this, but it's gonna take a lot longer. So I just put some gloves on and we're gonna get into this and just stir it all up with our hands. I really feel like that's how old fashioned meatloaf has to be made. You just gotta stir it with your hands. Now, if you guys wanna save this recipe for later, get ready because I'm about to put it up on the screen. So if you'd like to take a screenshot, go ahead. Traditionally, these are called mini cheesy meatloafs, but I like to make it in the crock pot. So I added that too. I love serving this when people come over because when you make the mini ones, they actually just look impressive. And you it's kind of like you get to eat your own meatloaf, your own little loaf right on your plate. You can serve it with mashed potatoes and gravy, or it's really good with baked potatoes and salad on the side. There's just so many things you can do with a nice little mini meatloaf. So normally we would do them like this and just make these little loaves, line them all on a baking sheet, just like that. You could make them bigger or smaller, but that's usually like a medium sized baked potato size is the way I like to make them. That would be enough for a woman or maybe a man could eat two of those depending on how hungry you are. But today we're just making one big loaf and we're gonna put it in the crock pot because this is a great meal to make if you wanna throw it in your crock pot, go do some errands, maybe run to church on a Sunday, which whatever you're doing for the day. So I always just kind of make my loaf in this bowl, shape it, and then we're gonna pull the crock pot over and we can just slide that right into the crock pot. And then we're just gonna shape it a little bit more to make sure it's a nice loaf. And you know, I use this smaller crock pot and it works just fine. Of course you could use a bigger one, but this is fine. Now my husband doesn't like anything on his meatloaf, but I love barbecue sauce. So sometimes, you know, the wife gets to win when she's cooking. So I globbed a whole bunch of barbecue sauce on this. I suggest if you make the mini meatloafs in the oven, definitely use the barbecue sauce. It's so good. You could use ketchup too if you like that. We're gonna put the lid on here and cook this on high for about four or five hours. And here we go, here's what it looks like. It's nice and hot and bubbly. After four or five hours, it's completely done in the middle. And now we're just going to slice this up. Now, only three people were eating today, but my husband loves leftover meatloaf. For sandwiches, heat it up, just cold right out of the fridge, whatever it is. So anytime I make a meatloaf, I always use two pounds of ground beef to, just so we have some leftovers because he loves it so much. Here's the, here's the bonus for the cook. Any of these little pieces that fell off? Well, you want your platter to look nice, right? So that's your taste test. And of course, these were really good. This is a great recipe. Now we served it with some, wow, so many sides, beans and carrots and potatoes and some leftover coleslaw we had. I wanted mac and cheese. Serve it with whatever sides you want. It makes for a great entree. Let me know if you make it and how you liked it. Thanks for watching.